Welcome back to one of the probably last guilds of Ravnica drafts we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, we talked about the cube, right? Yeah, how it's all corset. Corset, cube. yeah. So, we'll like, if you, get, if you get a Titan, you just win, right? Yeah, that seems pretty good. You look like Daredevil, but the cosmic <laughs> version. I feel like Ashiok. And you can see the zipper on your head. That's weird. Okay, well, that sounds racist as hell. <laughs> wow. I didn't think about that one. Oh, that looks real weird. Oh, we got that Tajik. Probably just taking the Tajik here. <clears throat> Oh, and then we get past this Goblin Banneret. We could have also taken Crackling Drake into Sinister Sabotage, but uh, I'm okay with these two picks. Also, we're not passing any good red or white, so it's very possible that people are just like... Not what does uh, Tajik do again? He has Haste, Mentor. I can't see anything, so you're going to have to... I'll just try to read it. For a long time, damage that will be dealt to other creatures you control. Okay. And he's one of the ability I can't read. Okay, you can give him first strike. That's pretty good. Oh my god, really? This is how they're gonna do me? They're just teasing me now. They're like, you don't want to. You don't want these shitty Boros cards. You know, you want to be your your one true love, Golgari. Golgari. Now you're like the Sultan of the universe. Bro, I was always the sultan of the universe. I just disguised my... My sultanosity. Why well, you gotta keep making it weirder? Because <laughs> is, is that even... If, if you're not making it weirder, are you even having fun? It's really crooked, by the way. You're like two-thirds of a head. You're less than that. Biatch. Wow. All right, I'm going to take this Bonds, but God, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Eh, Crater Maker's good. Actually, there wouldn't be anything good here. We take a higher Poisoner, so. <clears throat> I'll take a Crater Maker. Oh, and a Freshy. I like Command of the Storm better than Freshy. It's not a phase, Mom. I like a take heart. You look ridiculous. This is my C my scuba costume. I think my biggest concern is getting my hair caught in the zipper. That's always a problem. <laughs> with, with men your age. Knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man. He's rolling home. You're rolling home. Look, you ready to rob someone? I want to take this pack beast. All right, the boros is drying up too, which is kind of sad. Yeah, so, so far, it's really hot in this thing. So far, what? I mean, we're only in pack one. The boros could. Fly the other way. Flyer's 13 is for Christ. Woo! Charlie Christ OP. 
My God, if Ron if Ron DeSantis wins, though, I'll I'll lose it. I'll probably just move. Move into there. The Chick Fil A. I'll sauce. move into this Chick Fil A sauce. So I found this Chick Fil A in my magic. This Chick Fil A sauce in my magic bag. And I have no idea how long it's been in there. I wonder what the shelf life is on Chick Fil A sauce. I mean, there's mayonnaise in it. Mayonnaise in it, so it's probably not safe. Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. There is mayonnaise in there. <laughs> mayonnaise. Hey, mayonnaise. I don't know what you're saying to me right now. I'm saying hey, mayonnaise. God. I'm saying hey, mayonnaise. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows about the hey, mayonnaise. Hey, mayonnaise. Is there any way you can get your hands on some strapless green goggles? <laughs> um, I don't. How would I be? How would how would I get strapless goggles? I feel like you're uh I feel like you're asking a lot there. Now watch me may nay. Now watch me whip. Watch me may nay. Do you wanna watch me may nay? No. Okay. I don't want you to wanna watch you do anything. Wow. And you're gone, you're gone, and you're gone. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this dude. Yeah. It's early enough. Not only is it early enough, but we also have double Boros Guild Gates. So we can just splash the good white cards off of those if we want to. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I guess we can take this Cyclops. If a creature with Death Touch deals damage to itself, does it die? Yeah, I guess it would. I imagine that is what would happen. I will take this parking lot. No, maybe it's Piston Fist. I think it's Command Storm. Yeah? You're probably right, actually. You're so smart. I wish I was as smart as you. One day you will be my son. When? One day. When? One day! There you go. Yeah, I don't know why Barging Sergeant's even in the deck, to be honest with you. My initial reservation about Command Storm was that we had three five drops already. But then I realized one is a Pack Beast and one is a Barging Sergeant, so they're not actually that great. So then I was like, wait a minute, let's rethink this. Hold up. Wait. Shut them down, open up shop. That's how my, my B rolls. I also emailed Twitch today about the uh, the higher percentage in the partner in the partner game, so we'll see. I don't know if I just take an electrostatic field. Maybe we are just Boros. This guy might not be good enough. I think he is good enough, but if we don't get support for him, we can't really justify it. You're right. BlizzCon was great. I'm just gonna keep telling people BlizzCon was great. Um, Fresh Face Recruit, maybe it's gotta be Legionnaire actually, but we can play this even if we play Niv, right? Yeah, but Legionnaire Triple is Blue really is good. so hard to get. Legionnaire is really good, though. Like, he's what you want in Boros. Are we even Boros, Michael? I think we are. Uh, I was not in the Immortal Arena. I, was, I wasn't there for the Immortal Reveal. I was in the Overwatch Arena. So I, I assume that was in... It was either the Mystic, Mythic Stage or the Epic Stage or the Legendary Stage. That's a rough rod. Alan, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take the Legionnaire. And now I'm going to take this Parky Land. Yeah, there's like no blue here whatsoever. So I'm just going to take the good... The good Boris. Good Boris. Ho ho. Ho ho. Ten BlizzCon was great bits. Accurate. Accurate. That's how Mike B rolls. Turn him down, I'm gonna shop. I roll hard in the Pizzaint. With the Pizzaint? Mm hmm. Ow. Ow. Say it to my face. I'm so happy I didn't know anything about the Diablo stuff until after everyone was. Yeah, I mean, like, their, their, their level of upsetness was not a reasonable amount, so.
it sucks because BlizzCon is literally all about community, right? Like, it's all about, um, like, as far as I know, what I've, from what I've heard, BlizzCon, Blizzard actually loses money on BlizzCon. And, uh, it's just a convention because they want to do something cool for their fans. Um, and so they put on this awesome show and they, and, you know, and everyone is able to come and have a, have a great weekend and have an awesome time. And people just bitch and moan when they don't get exactly what they want. It's not even if they didn't get they didn't get what they wanted. They didn't get it when they wanted it, which was that weekend, I guess. Because it's not to say like, like we all know Diablo Four is coming. Like they all, we everybody knows that Diablo Four is gonna come out at some point. So like, it's not like this came out instead of Diablo. So it's just a matter of like. Yeah, I just don't think there's any insult there. Like no one's being insulted. Like you're you're not like you're not entitled to a Diablo 4. Right? So if you want this new mobile game, you can play it. If you don't, don't play it. Simple as that. When your life has no meaning, you need to find meaning in things that don't matter. You don't understand. Carwit, I understand better than anyone. Ooh, that's a good one. Wow, all three of these are great. Holy smokes. Yeah. They spent six months hyping it to the PC crowd? Who who did they spend hyping what to the PC crowd? I didn't see any hype six months prior to this. And if you're only going to BlizzCon for a Diablo, specifically Diablo reveal... Also, don't say they jacked up the price for no reason. Like, they clearly have reasons for doing it. Like... Don't 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 assume that there's no reason because you don't know or understand the reason. Like that's just not a reasonable take. I'm just gonna take the Dawn of Hope. Yeah, it seems like the best choice. You like Lava Coil over Dawn of Hope, which just wins you the late game on its own. No, a Dawn of Hope is definitely the play there. Captain. Yeah, Captain actually seems fine. Oh, ionize and a beacon bolt. Ooh, a direct current seems great here. All right, I'll take a direct current. Michael said there'd be days like this. There'd be days like this. Michael said. Michael said. Michael said. Gravitic punch can go over here. Nimizit can go over here. This deck looks pretty okay, actually. These two are not ideal. However, I'm not... Not entirely opposed to them. God, I always see this and I always think it's Aurelia. Actually, I might just take this. Maybe we just try to play this. We're not going to play anything I can else. see it. Like, you just get two attacks. Like, you just win on the spot. Pretty easily, too. Oh, hammer dropper, keep on rolling. Yeah, I do like Fire Urchin because of its mentor capabilities. That's one of my main my main draws to that guy. What is this link? Oh, it's just a uh... Wow, this is a late ass Golgari fine broker. I'm just gonna hate it. You people ain't got no respect. Now you don't get a fine broker. Just... 
Can you come here? Come here. You want to come on stream? Not you. <laughs> God, Hunter, you're just like me? Are you talking to me? Did you guys mean me? They're still giving me these guild gates. Maybe they still want me to play the uh, new Mizzet. In a perfect world, Frank. In a perfect world. What if I live in a perfect world? You don't. Dang it, biscuits. Is that funny? What am I funny to you? I have some kind of joke. Well, am I? Yes. Got to roll with the rock pile. Got to roll with the rock pile. Mike B. 2018. You got to roll with the rock pile. Because the S-Hawks are flying in low. I don't have any Hawks, Michael. That's good. Around the time I was playing with the hammer, I feel like this is the less safe upgrade to that. <laughs> well, don't throw it at your lip. Oh, I sliced my face open because I was playing with this knife. Like you do. This deck did not turn out great. Uh, another fire urchin, I guess, is fine. It's not great, but it's whatever. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to slice your face off <laughs> with a knife. You gotta know. That looks like it escalated quickly. Oh, the whole thing escalated. It was it was a it was an article about how I don't even want to talk about it on stream because then we're gonna have this whole that much drama. Dang. It's not really drama per se. It just feels controversial. Hey man, tuck in your universe. <laughs> tuck in your universe. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Now you look presentable. <laughs> so weird. <clears throat> You've got to know when to hold them. I want you to know when to fold them. I'll fold your ma. Will you? Yes. Could you not do that instead? I suppose. Okay, I'll see you there. Well, see you later. I will see you later. You will see me in the parking lot. And you can count on me waiting for you in the parking lot. I don't understand what's going Ooh, on. Ooh, better run, shooter! It's from, uh, it's from a little movie called Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore Girls. Smappy Gilmore. Bappy McMillmore. Can you, guys, can you guys tell me if my universe is showing? 51 to 49. Holy crap. It's about dead even. If you guys haven't done so, you guys can go check out my Facebook page. And, um... Vote on whether Tootsie Rolls are delicious or not. Currently, it's 51% to 49%. And uh, that's too close to a margin for me, so...
Would you risk your life to get that money or let it go? Attempting offer. I already voted about six times today. I'm not going to vote anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'd risk it. I am like 85. You got Grandpa, Grandpa Tootsie Roll over here. That's what they call me. Thank you. Oh, Brett with the <laughs> plus one Tootsie Roll sub. <laughs> nice. Brett, did you say that was your Tarmogoyf that was opened in the Discord? Or, well, at short stops? Because that's insane. Like, that's, like, probably the best one you can get, right? That's so nuts, dude. Says the guy wearing the green screen hood. Is Liliana better than Tarmogoyf? That's crazy. I don't know, man. Magic prices are crazy sometimes. I mean, Gorf has to be Gorf. Gorf has to be the second one, right? Gorf. Tarmogorf. Mister Gorf. If y'all nasty. Last try, Mike. What's your advice? The wife wants to buy a new laptop for schoolwork. And I want a new king size bed. Both are roughly the same amount of money which we have in the checking account. Which should we get for ourselves for Xmas? Honest to stream, Mike, answer you, you rascal. Um, that's a tough call. A new bed or a new laptop? Hmm. I think it depends on how worn out your mattress is. Like, if it's really uncomfortable, you should probably get the new bed. If not, get the laptop. There you go. Now you know. Now you know. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is a fine block, I guess. Uh, I could definitely see myself doing Ultimate Master's Draft. Just depends on where I am at the time. Oh, is it going to come out on Magic Online? Uh, yes. Oh, definitely. If it comes out on Magic Online. Yeah, it is coming out on Magic Online. I'm definitely doing some on Magic Online. Yeah, Master Sets are pretty fun to draft. Oh, you're right. Outside of the price point. Outside of the price point. Do. Let's get rid of the mountain. You must know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Yeah, the packs are like five ninety nine or six ninety nine or something, which is significantly different than the thirteen ninety five they are in real life. So that's kind of strange. But also, like, oh, the I'm, MSRP for that much, but then I'm, stores are charging like thirteen. No, the MSRP for thirteen ninety five. Okay. The Magic Online packs are not that much though. Gotcha. This dude's got trample. He do got big tramps. Yeah, and all the cards that are box toppers will be uh, included in the packs of the, the treasure chest packs. He do got the tramps. If y'all know what I mean. All right, we're definitely killing this guy. No, so what I mean? Go crazy. Living in a tiny limousine. Living in a title resine? A tiny limousine. You're living in a tiny. Are you living in a tiny limousine? Yes. Was that a, an actual lyric, or did you just make Ice that? Ice cream. Up? Know what I mean? Tiny limousine. <laughs> the actual song is "Peaches and Cream," but you can replace the lyrics with "Tiny Limousine."
cool. Are you okay? And this curtain brings the heat. Yeah, that's why I got the fan, bro. Yeah, the Battle Bond cardstock is super noticeable. I like sitting up like this because then you can't see my neck, so it just looks like I have a floating face. That was a weird sentence. <laughs> You're right. Wow, fashion late to the party, huh? Okay. Tend to just bonds this, but God, it's not great. It's still necessary. I mean, if they're gonna get their their rare on turn two, both games, like, what are you gonna do? Look at all my urchins. Did you look at them? I'm looking at them. Look at them. Okay, what now? Keep looking. Okay, I'm still looking. Look until you can look no more. Um, okay. Keep looking. I'll try. I want you to look forever. I don't think I can do that. Look now with your urchin eyes. <laughs> My this is why I hate Boros. I'm just like, With well, I can't really do anything vision. about this. So. Yeah, there's, it's really not good at coming back. They just tap this at like every turn to make a guy. He's like, don't like. Oh. Come here. Stop being a little baby. All right, get out of here. See you later, kitty cat. Oh, boy, they're doing very well. They're doing very well for themselves. Okay, it's got to come off now because it just gets so hot. Oh, God. Got that face wet, boy. Oh, God. Oof. All right. Know what I mean? Time to scene. I'm sorry, what? I don't think anyone knows what you just know said. Know what I mean? Tiny limousine. I don't think anyone knows we're, what you mean. It doesn't matter. We're losing this game. What about the tiny limousine? doesn't matter. But what if it does matter? It won't. Yeah, I know. Remember that time the cat made appearance? Hold the line. All right, Gillum is up 50%. DeSantis is at 48.4. Basically the best thing that could possibly happen so far. Only 34% has have been reported yet, though, so there's still time, but... Oh, that's a lot less. <clears throat> right, but I mean, like, it could just be so many more, so... Yeah. 
This is the Invisible Hat Show. Hold on to your butts. It's the Invisible Hat Show. Skeletor. See, that's a random. If no one saw what I was looking at, that's such a random thing to say. I like it that way. I like it that way. Yes, yeah, fine. Not super exciting. This is also not the best Boros deck, but like, it's weird. The Boros decks don't really have a great mid game. Like, you either have an explosive start or like you're very, very far behind. And that's why I don't like Boros. Like, I just feel like I'm better playing mid range decks, like Golgari. Um, which is why I feel like I do better when I play Golgari decks. Um, all right. 432, keep, 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 keep. Best president you guys had in years is Obama, hands down, in terms of incomplete. I agree with you. It always makes me super comfortable when, uh, international viewers say things like that because... It shows a world perspective that a lot of times Americans don't really have. So it's like, hey, this is how the world sees you. And, uh, and. Oh, look at that little rat. Matthew, uh, I do appreciate you not, um, getting, like, I, I appreciate you trying to dodge, um, political conversations because ultimately I do, I don't think they're very healthy for the chat for for this particular um venue so i do appreciate you not engaging and and i'm i'm not also gonna i'm also gonna try not to uh perpetuate no matter what side you're on you should vote Sorry, you hit yourself in the face with a hammer. You and me both. <laughs> Dankus, really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed it. I had a good time, too. So, that How's is good. How's your lip doing, man? Uh, it's it's good? all healed. We're good. Mm, all right. I'm all lipped up, buddy. That means you can break out the hammer again. You know, because mm. you healed. I'm not healthy for political conversations. You and me both, John. You and me both, buddy. No, they get to... They get to choose one of our, our bad Larrys. I do have a knife now, though. So, it's just an upgrade, right? It's just a hammer upgrade. A hammer grade. Man, that little that little robot's well, working real hard. Well, I guess they just got rid of both of our cards, then. Yeah, that robot k kills it, man. Oh, why did you do this magic online? What happened? <sighs> I accidentally went to the... I hit, oh. the, I hit the button one too many times, so it went to the combat step before I could play my fantastic Skynet Legionnaire that has You haste. should not play it out of... out of. Uh, I know. I'm not going to. Just just so they won't know you're dumb. Well, also because it opens it up to removal. So, I mean, unless they have a discard spell, which is far less likely than a removal spell. Like... Yeah, now we're just behind for all the things. Can we have a hot sauce discussion? Most definitely we can have that. Oh, here we go. Artful Take Donaru. What would you like to discuss about hot sauces? Ooh, 42%. We're still up. We're still up. Looking good. Looking good. Still too close for my comfort. Oh, last to have Redux, huh? I have not tried the Redux yet. I have the regular in the fridge. But, um... Yeah, they're just... 
Yeah, we have the original last dab. It's pretty good. A little, it's a little too hot, but it is good flavor. My my issue with the Redux is that I don't feel like it adds the thing I'm looking for. Right, like it's it's going to be hotter, I'm sure, but that's not what I'm looking for in the hot sauce. I feel like I've peaked as far as the hotness goes. Um, one of my favorite hot sauces. I'm actually okay, so I'm actually a surprisingly big Cholula fan. Cholula is one of my favorite, like just all all purpose hot sauces. Um. But one of my favorite, like, specialty hot sauces is the apple... Uh, who makes it? Bravado? I think so. Uh, apple... It's an ap apple jalapeno. Jalapeno and green apple uh, sauce from Bravado. You can get it on, like, Amazon. I'll link to it in the chat. It's one of my favorite sauces. And I can go through a lot of it pretty quickly. Because I'm, I'm basically a maniac. Yeah, I agree. I think Last Dab is very flavorful. It's just, it's so hot, it's kind of hard to keep eating it a bunch. Like, you can't really, like, spread it. Like, if you put it on a taco or something, like, you really can't taste anything else but the Last Dab sauce. That's the problem with it, I think. But I do kind of like it on wings. Literally, I was literally just going to say how Da Bomb is just not even... It's just, it's just, it's such a, it's such a gimmick hot sauce that, like... Yeah, Da Bomb has no flavor. Like, it just tastes like battery acid. I'm just like, this is not pleasant. If we attack with both, they block here and block here. But then this guy's, like, just in bad shape. I guess we could pass. Like, Cholula just is, has one of my favorite flavor profiles for just a regular, like, all-purpose hot sauce. It's very good. Do you enjoy the original the most or other flavors? Yeah, I actually like the original the most. Okay. I'm a big fan of the Chipotle one. That one's good. Tapatio's alright. I love Sriracha. I keep forgetting to buy it, but I feel like not buying any regular hot sauces because we currently have so much hot sauce in the fridge, it's insane. Like, we have a whole shelf devoted in our in our fridge to hot sauces. Oh, you're going to Artful Dodge number two. Price of fame. Yeah. That's pretty good. Maybe I want to do this. If I maximize velocity on here, you can still block on here. I guess I can actually pump. I can't do both. Uh, yeah, we're just going to pass here. It makes me feel really bad, but I've never actually first studied Sriracha. There's still time, Brett. There's still time. Oh, God. This is Sriracha has a really unique flavor. That's what I like about it. So, yeah, it's still nothing we can do here. <laughs> 16 million Scovels, wow. Yeah, that's reasonable. That's not okay at all. Yeah, they'd be at four if we played this guy. We would have had this guy out of turn sooner. I'm pretty sure that one misclick going into the combat step from us is pretty bad. Considering the last dab is like 1 million Scovilles, I can't imagine how two insane... Mil. Oh, it's 2 million? Yeah, it's 2 million. I can't imagine how insane 16 million would be. Like, that's just that's just toxic, toxic level. Like, you know, you're not supposed to consume that. Well, this is a good play if they don't have a counterspell. Or an artful dodge. Counterspell, artful dodge. Let's avoid those things. Pop, pop. I have yet to try a raw Carolina Reaper. You? Yes. We can make that a sub goal. I'm in. The only thing that, that kind of scares me is a little bit is like I have heard of people going to the hospital over it. <sighs> Did you try not being such a baby about it? Do 
Jesse has to be moved. They let me know you were gone. Alright, so I have one card in hand. Seems uh, pretty okay. <sighs> did you get to see the horse photos? I totally did. The horse, of horse, of course, of course. We're at four. So this is good. Both these guys are lethal. So you can go chump block here, chump block here if you'd like. Sorancha. I have been to Mod Pizza. I did not get that though. Never been. Interesting. Yeah, we could have attacked with the 2-2. Two -two. I just... I, I mean, if... It, yeah, but then they get a free block here. And they could actually chump block both of these guys. And they just eat this guy. Which isn't great. So I just don't really think it's that great. Whereas... Uh, I mean... Sure, we'll just pass like this. That was actually pretty good. We could have also killed the rat. Forcing them to block with their two guys. But... And that'll do. All right. I like this less. I like you less. That's fair. Oh, kind of like Call of the Culprit here. I like you less. Ho, ho, ho. It's weird that you sound like that. Let's keep it. And we got that Tajik on turn three if they don't do anything. I guess we have to draw planes for that. Well. Discard a card. Discard a direct current for now. Alright, well that's not a plane, so maybe they helped us. Who knows? Tajik one time. Tajik is perfect. Come on. Come on. Oh, great. Great. Are you going to the Queen movie or are you going to skip it? I'm probably going to... Yeah, I'm probably going to go definitely see Bohemian Rhapsody. But not today. Correct. Not today. Oh my god. Come on. This is amazing. God, can we... Oh god. It's funny. It's so funny. The, the amount of games we lose because we don't draw lands and spells in a consistent manner is just so staggering to me. Like, I expect to get mana screwed every so often, but like... Come on. Drew Grossi, have a good night, buddy. Oh my god. Sure. I 
I was commenting on the VOD of your current live stream instead of talking this whole time. Well, that's a wow. thing. Amazing. Thank you. Chili Mo could be good. Dankus, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Always appreciate the support. Yep, you're not great here. I hope you attack with this. I draw white. I attack with everything. I can play Tajik. You didn't do that. So I guess you kind of knew that I was going to play this, I guess. Coming on, on, on. I got it if I tried. Oh, is so, do, 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 do. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, you're playing two colors, huh? Well, it'd be a shame if you only drew one of those two colors. I'm just going to discard this guy. Get rid of both your things. Hopefully this will be fine. And they're still at 19? Gosh. Cool. And then they're going to make us discard the Tajik, and I'm having a good time. Oh, no. This is no good. No, it's actually terrible. I'm a big yeah. It was like big. their best series of draws ever. Yep, it is not terrible. Cool. Everybody have a good time. All right, something good. Nailed it. Fantastic. I mean, we're not dead, right? They only have a sizable advantage. It's okay. Five cards to work with. Oh, another perfect draw. <laughs> oh, yes. A classic. Draw your two. We do still have a 1-3. Boy, don't we. Yep, I'm just going to go to the next game here. I, I don't foresee us winning this long game when they have four cards in hand and a disinformation campaign out and we're drawing two lands in a row. All right. Let's try again. Sure, we got all the colors. We got a decent distribution of lands and spells. All the things I've ever wanted in a game of magic. Let's do it. Let's let's have a good riveting third game three. Well, that's fascinating. Okay. I would love to draw Tajik one time, especially uh, That'd be really good. in an opportune time to cast it, as opposed to a non-opportune time to cast it, which is the only time I've drawn it so far. Eh? Well, that's actually, that's probably going to win us the game. It's a good one. Yeah, they don't have a, a, a deck that plays well in the long game, so this is probably going to do pretty good good things for us. Tajik. Uh, direct current. Not the worst. But also not the best. Probably just going to pass here and make a guy. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, discard your last card. Get my disinformation campaign back. <sighs> yep.
Yeah, I guess we'll just get on the face too. They can't block with the Muse Drake here, so that's fine. I guess they can. Command the storm one time. We're right off the top. I kept both on top. That is a land. Close. It's basically the same thing. I was like, I know we're going to draw a five drop here because it's the one thing we can't cast. So, yep. Sounds about right. To the surprise of no one. Yeah. I feel like it's about the 50 mark where I get a little tired of the drafts. And uh, I, I really, like, really need to change at that point. And I feel like we're approaching that now. Where I'm just like, eh, I need... Definitely need a break. So it's perfect timing for the cube tomorrow. I mean, once we can start making two guys a turn, though, I feel like we're in better shape. But... Like, they have a lot of flyers. And they're at 17, so... They also have five cards in hand to R0, so <laughs> what can you do? And now do they just have seven cards? They're just going to draw three here. Wow. Seven cards in hand. <laughs> Play Guildgate. Oh, it's just a regular land. Yep. Fascinating. Got rid of a one one. Interesting. Tax didn't even do anything. I just block here. Gain life. Let's just draw a card, though. Yeah. But then they just return the disinformation campaign with their 5,000 cards. It's true. I guess we could hit a land and play it. That's not a land. So I'm 100% sure they're going to surveil here. Disinformation campaign. Make us discard. All right, that's good, but that's not going to surveil this turn. So unless you have, like, Mephitic Vapors, which is just terrible for you, now that you have Spy Bug out. Oh, <sighs> sure. Just It's just kind of frustrating. We're trying to get around it, but that's okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. If only our luminous bonds was not in the graveyard. This is this is a pretty bad combination, so we might just have to direct current this guy. Yeah, I don't think we can beat those. Correct. I agree. Like, there's no point even attacking. Like they just block with the one three. Don't go 
still breaking my heart. There are 13 cards, like... There's seven cards in hand. They also do have Emphytic Vapors in the deck, so... Twelve cards in the deck. All right. Another watcher. Anything at all? <laughs> oh, just that, huh? Oh, of course. Why not? I want to hit a land here. I think I'm going to try to draw with this guy. All right, now we can unload our hand, which is nice. Seems good. Nine cards left in the deck. I have to assume they have like enhanced surveillance or something, right? To like shovel the graveyard back. Because in order to even get to eight here, it's going to be go to six, go to seven, go to eight. They're going to have to look at six more cards, which would put them to two cards in their deck. They would draw the card for the next turn. Now they actually go with the... They lose three cards per activation because of the draw step, so I'm pretty sure that's not realistic. They're probably just going to kill this guy. What up, Alistair Kane? Yep. <sighs> That's pretty rude. Mate, still falling asleep, huh? I'm just yawning, man. Okay. No, I'll just kill everything. That's give a, cool. Give me a land so I can just start making two guys a turn and passing. The be no, that's wow, really? They're being really aggressive with this with this card drawing. Maybe they're dumb and they'll kill themselves. I mean they have two power on board and I'm at sixteen. We can also uh Wow, they draw another one. All right. <laughs> I mean, it is possible that they kill themselves by decking, but... One can hope. One can hope. Yep. It'd actually be pretty sweet if, like, their only way to shovel things back in was Counterspell and we just never play a spell the rest of the game. Assuming we don't die somehow. I mean, we're going to gain two and we can block two things per turn, so... Well, this is also obnoxious, so is this, so. Uh, 
Uh, I'm pretty sure the Guild Gate is not a May ability. So now they can attack for three, four, five. Sure. Charlie has to deal combat damage to you, right, for effect? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, they're going to. But they can't, like, they can't win the game off of it because we only have tokens, so. And oh, we... yeah, because they won't have hit counters on them. Yeah, right? and we can yeah. just chump block so that it doesn't get shuffled in. But actually, I guess we want it to get shuffled in, so I'm just going to actually block one dude. And they can shuffle their Atrata back in. Do I want to draw a card? No, because they have disinformation campaign. So. Don't go breaking my, don't go breaking your heart. Burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's at least two lands and there's seven, there's ten cards. That's still eight spells. One is an Atrata. So land, land, Atrata is reasonable to consider. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, again, I don't want to draw because then we can't make two guys, and that's more important here. This is obnoxious, but wow. Just Atrata's for days. Mono Atrata. Uh, I don't actually think there's any inherent benefit to having chat for PTs and GPs. Uh, I think it's incredibly toxic. It doesn't add anything. It's just a bunch of try-hard magic players trying to out-try-hard each other. Most of the time it boils down to insulting people's gender or appearance. And, uh, you know, I think it should be a more of a community thing where it's like, if I want to watch the PT, I'll watch it with some friends at home. Like... You know, or I'll, or I'll talk about it in my Discord channel or, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't think it's necessary to be watching it on on Twitch to really have an experience. Oh, Eleven lands. All right. We can make two blockers. We can go block, block. Let's attack for one. Could draw a card here. Um, yeah, but then like, what is going to be better than making two dudes? Is right. Problem? Yeah. Well, you can still make no, yeah, because we can still make two dudes, but we're not going to be able to play the card really. So right.
Yeah, we're actually almost dead here. I want to get rid of this snitch, but I don't think it's possible. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked last turn, actually. That was going to be my downfall. Would you say it's your hero's downfall? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Just stop it. No I'm one's impressed. To. Gotta sure. Oh my god, you have no cards in your deck. Should have just left that dude last turn, but I mean we know they have artful dodge, so pay your costs. Artful dodge us. Cool. Alright, well that was a fun game. And by fun I mean absolutely miserable. Did not have a good time whatsoever. And on that note, I'm gonna drop from this league a very disappointed O2. Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Just wanted to pop in and thank you for five long years of amazing content. And thank you for having the entire time saying nothing but flesh and silly nabreets. Thank you so much, nabreets. Really appreciate it, buddy. On that note, uh, you can slam those like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch and uh, Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check meundies.com slash franklapore if you want 15% off. Some super, super comfortable uh, unders, onesies, sleep pants, socks, things like that. And um, you get free shipping, free returns. And uh, it helps me out. Everybody wins. But uh, either way, we'll be back tomorrow with some cube. So uh, be sure to check that out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.